to oh, yeah. the meet and greet for United Kingdom. It is a meet and greet, even if we have the setup with a podium. Um, photos will be afterwards at the photo wall. And now let's please give Joe and Jake a warm hand. Hello guys. Hello. Welcome to Stockholm. Thank you so much. Great to have you. No, thank you. Thank you for having us here. So please let us know. We're all curious. Uh, we watched your rehearsal. We would like to, to hear what you thought. Was it a, was it a great rehearsal? We, we absolutely loved it. You know, we thought it was uh, it was incredible to get on the stage and just kind of look around and think, wow. <laughs> you know, it's it's it. It, it is big, huh? It's but you have, you have experience from quite big stages before. Uh, how is this different? Um, well, yeah, obviously we were both on The Voice in the UK and um, that was an amazing experience, but you know, that this is the biggest singing competition in the world, so for us to be a part of it, it's just an incredible feeling and we're just so excited to be here in Stockholm. Great. Would you please introduce yourselves, the, the, your, your friends here on the podium? We're just fans. <laughs> we're just fans? Oh, they were lucky, huh? This is, this is my brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm Helen Riddell, I'm the host for the UK. And I'm Chris, because I'm the head of press. Great, so that's the guy you want to grab for, for interviews, right? <laughs> Excellent. I'm available Excellent. all afternoon. <laughs> so, uh, tell us please, is there anything you would like to change? I mean, this was just the beginning of your rehearsal, so, but is there anything specific you'd like to, to work on? To be honest, I mean, we've been working on so many things, and you know, we've been working really hard on the performance, obviously in a much smaller space. Um, you know, it was our first rehearsal we found quite strange because we had a lot more room than we'd ever worked with before, but um, in terms of how everything's going, we're really happy with the rehearsals and we absolutely love that rehearsal. We thought it was a really strong starting point for our first rehearsal day and we can't wait for the next one. How about the cameras? Is it difficult? Are there many cameras? There's a lot of cameras. Yeah, there, it's quite but you know, we, we know why we're doing it. It looks great on TV and you know, it's, it's, it's something we've got to learn in, in our careers and you know, we, we loved it. The first rehearsal was just so much fun. And we I've been practicing my blue steels. <laughs> I mean, referring to your title, did you feel that you were alone on stage or could you feel your, your supporters sort of backing you up? Definitely, I mean, we've got, we've got a great team with us, you know, and it's, a, it's, an amazing, it's an amazing feeling, you know, knowing what we're doing and it just feels great. It just feels absolutely incredible to be doing this and getting How on that stage just really fueled that. How about the interest from, from back home? I mean, it's been slightly weak interest from the UK during the years, but how does it feel now? Maybe I should ask you. What is the interest in Beckham in the UK? I think um, we've, we've got huge support. I think this year we did the biggest ever song search. It's the John Jake book. effect. <laughs> of course it is. Yes. But we had, it was a national um, selection show this year. So it was a public who voted 100% for these guys. So they're definitely all behind them and uh, willing them on. Excellent. So let's open up for some questions. Up front here. Martin and Red. Hi. Hello. It's uh, Martin van der Veen, uh, Eurovision artist in the Netherlands. Uh, you both are big fans of uh, Liverpool uh, FC. We are. And I was wondering, now that you are uh, going to Eurovision, uh, work, working a lot, uh, do you find some time every now and then to go to matches uh, still or? Just not at the moment. <laughs> not, not, not so much time to go to the games. We don't miss any games. We're always watching the games, but uh, it's quite difficult to manage to go to Anfield. <laughs> but um, no, we're, we're always keeping up with things. Thank you. Another question here up front? I have a question. Uh, Alistair Birch from SBS Radio in Australia. I have a question for Jake. Um, I understand you performed at the Cavern, which yes. of course is known for a certain other group. Um, what was it like to step onto such a famous stage? That was incredible. It was uh, it was such an amazing feeling. Like I say, you know, uh, my family's from Liverpool, and you know, I've got I've got such a love for the city and and the football team and things like that, and the Beatles, of course. So uh, to get up on that stage was a pretty surreal experience, but. Uh, it was such an amazing time for me, just to get up there as well. There was quite a few people on as well who I got to meet and uh, just had a fantastic time. Great. Refer to the Beatles, so I'm going to jump into my next the question I always ask in the meet and greets, the come together <laughs> yes. theme for this year's Eurovision. How does that relate to you? What does it mean? 
Well, you, you can look at it in so many different ways. I mean, obviously, the song that we've got this year is, you know, about everyone coming together and friendship. And, you know, we think the theme for this year is amazing. I mean, that's why we've decided to go with the selfie idea for the staging, because, you know, this is such an amazing competition and it brings a massive part of the world together. So, you know, it's just a perfect theme this year. It matches well with your song, huh? No? It does, yeah, definitely, yeah. Very much so. Okay, question up front here, Amanda Structured. Hi Joe, hi Jake. Hey, good morning. Uh, this is Fernando Mendes for Radio International. I read in your biography that Joe's first language is Welsh. It is, yes. And that you used to sing in a Welsh voice choir. I did. Uh, well, my first question is, could you sing us something in Welsh? Because it's the first time I will ever hear something in Welsh. Oh, I think I struggled, to be honest. The last time I did it, I was like five. <laughs> okay, then, I don't know if I can do the lyrics. <laughs> okay, then I go to the easy question. Would you consider uh, record, uh, releasing an album or some single in the f near future or far future? in Welsh eventually? Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, Welsh is such a, a, a great language and there's so many people. Singing's a big thing in Wales, so I mean, it'd, it'd be lovely to do that. I might know. struggle. Yeah, he, he, he won't be able to be involved. He can just dance in the background, but yeah. Oh, I'll look pretty in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you can dance. Yeah, I'll be me. Let's, let's, however, sing your song now, right? Yeah, yeah, you sure. Would, would you? Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're up for that? Excellent. And there's a guitar. And there is somebody, the, the head of delegation will be assisting with the microphone, right? For the... Uh, oh. This is a multitasking head of delegation, we like that. Make shift mark stand. You ready? Okay. Everyone hear that? I nearly went to sing then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not alone, we're in this together. All that you want is ready forever. And they don't need to know, oh, 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 and they don't need to know. I, I, I feel like I'm dancing in the sky. I, I, I come alive when I'm with you. I come alive when I'm with you. Thank you. Thank you. Your voices really marry up well. Thank They're you beautiful very much. together. Blair from Australia, question? Hi. Hello, Hello Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z in Brisbane, Australia. Hi. Congratulations. It's great to see the UK really putting some superb effort in this year. It's just Thank fantastic. You so much. Thank you. Just fantastic. Gotta notice though, in the third run through today, Jay look like you got a bit of a surprise from some of the pyros. <laughs> did they, did they not tell you you were going to have pyros on stage? It is Eurovision after all. But are you a bit concerned that some of the special effects just, yeah, might get out of hand? I'll deal with it. <laughs> so I'll deal with it. No, it's, um, it was, <laughs> it was one that we knew we were having pyros and things like that. It's just, uh, I didn't know like, we were going to be using them in the rehearsals. Uh -huh. So um, I think I stepped a bit too far and got a bit singed. <laughs> But other than that, it's fine. <laughs> Up front here, please. Hello, Joe and Jake. Jake Heath, also from Radio International. Hi, we met in Amsterdam briefly. Yes. Um, question is, you're very young, um, of course, and uh, what are your memories of the Eurovision Song Contest? Do you have any favorites from the past? Not only UK, but have you a bit more knowledge of Eurovision? Yeah, I mean, I mean, as far as Eurovision goes, we can actually think quite far back for, for people of our age, even though our favourite winners are actually very recent. Um, only because of the style of music that we're into and, you know, the performances, like um, Joe's and those man's. Yeah, I think, I think, you know, you watch that performance, there's been so many amazing performances over the years, but that was a standout for me and I love the song, I love dance music and I, I just love that performance, so it was incredible. For me, in terms of um, the performance, and most particularly the songs, I love the song, it's uh, Euphoria, Lorraine. How about, how about Mons? I know Mons is your inspiration well, for you. Um, again, uh, have you met him? Yes. We have, yeah. He was at the show when we got uh, picked to represent the UK, so it was obviously uh -huh. amazing for us to, to see him perform and just watch you know, how amazing he is live. And he was a lovely guy. Oh, when he does it. Exactly, yeah. So we, we had a good chat with him and he's a really nice man. Terrific. More questions? 
the man very, the, with a very <laughs> nationalistic I vest. I love that. Yeah, There's no doubt on who you could have for, right? Uh, I'm, I'm so where are you from? I'm from Luxembourg. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Hi guys, it's Hassan Yusuf from Vision Magazine from the UK, obviously. Um, you just sang an acoustic version of your song, which just goes to prove that you two can actually sing. So, I watched your rehearsal and I must admit, I felt like a proud grandfather. Oh, yeah. Thank so, you very much. Yeah, we're, really, we're, really, <laughs> we're really proud of you guys, you know. You know Thank your you. song is so energetic and, and you two really mesh well together. Thank you. I mean, do you think you possibly will stay together after you reach your own? 100%. That's albums? what we're doing. You know, this is, this is what we're doing now. You know, we, myself and Jake were best mates. We were in a duo. We're signed to Sony. So, you know, I couldn't imagine myself as a solo act anymore. I think it would just, it'd just be boring for me to do that. You know, obviously, I have to spend an every day with Jake. We have so much fun. But, you know, we both just really work well together. So I'll definitely... We're, we're gonna, this is us for the future now, isn't it? This is us. <laughs> it's all right, Joe. It's okay to cry. Sorry, I'm going to cry. No, joke. <laughs> Great. More questions? Up front here, please. No, we definitely recognise you. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I'm a marked man already. This is a disaster. <laughs> David from Radio International and from Future Radio in Norwich. When we spoke at the UK press conference, you had a wow moment, you told me, when you walked out onto the stage at the Forum in Kentish Town. Yeah. How was it this morning when you walked out <laughs> on the stage of the Eurovision Song Contest in Stockholm? Pretty powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty powerful, you know, it's just walking out there, you just... You just... It became real, very it quickly. <laughs> we walked up the ramp and we were just like, this looks huge. And then the further we got out, we just went, oh my God. <laughs> it's amazing. But it was absolutely insane. And it was, it was quite, it was quite an emotional thing because we've been, we've been saying for quite a while now, ever since we won the You Decide show in, um, at the O2 Forum, we've been saying it'll really kick in for us when we step out and do our first rehearsal on that stage. And we've said it for quite a while. And to actually go out and do that today was, you know, like a real eye opener. Yeah. We just walked out and we just could not believe how we felt. We were really pleased to see a great first rehearsal today. Oh, thank you. And it was really, really proud moment for the UK this oh, morning. Thank, thank you, very you much. so much. Thank That's you. lovely. Really proud. Well, guys, thank you. Another question up front. Hi, my question is for Joe this time. Um, you're from Ruthen in Denbyshire, which of course is famous. It's the first place the Welsh national anthem was printed. Um, but my question is about the Welsh flag. How much of a distraction was the whole controversy about the, the Welsh flag and its position in Eurovision? And how does it make you feel now that the EBU has relented and it is now allowed? Well, obviously, it's, it's a lovely feeling knowing that, you know, my country's flag's going to be there. You know, I, I couldn't get too, too deep into it because obviously it wasn't something that I could, I could change myself. Um, you know, for me, knowing that the Welsh flag's going to be there is going to be incredible. You know, as far as I know, I'm the first Welsh speaker that's ever represented the UK. So, you know, it's, it's a big thing. I'm very proud to be Welsh, but, you know, it's not just that. I'm very proud to be representing the UK. So it's great that I can have both flags now. So it's, it's going to be a lovely moment. Thank you. Any comments from the head of delegation? I absolutely agree with what Joe said. Obviously, it's an EBU decision, um, but we're delighted that hopefully Joe will see uh, some Welsh flags in the arena. Thank you. More questions? Here, please. The man in the white shirt. Thank you. Hi, Joe. Hi, hey. Jake. Hello. It's uh, Ian from Merns FM on behalf of Tommy Ferguson's Eurovision radio show. We loved your photo in an aircraft, and I just wanted to find out how you got into the cockpit. We broke in. <laughs> we broke in. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those, really, like, um, like, they knew that we were on the flight as such and uh, we just had like a laugh with, uh, with the air hostesses and stuff like that and uh, when we were getting off the plane, like everyone was getting off the plane, they put over like, the tannoy that, you know, it's for everyone to wish us luck and stuff, which was really nice and then... They offered the pilot, jobs yeah. as well. Yeah, they offered us jobs. Yeah. <laughs> um, then the pilots asked to meet us, um, so we just went in, said hello and we got to sit in the chairs and I was just like, too how do you buttons. deal with this? Too many buttons in there, I can tell you that. <laughs> Thousands. But we just had a really good laugh with them and, um, you know, it was nice that they wanted to meet us. It's lovely. So you might have a second career. Not that it looks like you're going to need it, but... <laughs> well, but as Joe, Joe said the other day, we are now focusing on being singing pilots. Singing pilots? The singing Could pilots. Be a thing, couldn't it? Could oh, be right, a thing. right, right. So let's see, more questions before we go to photo shoot? Up front here again. Go ahead. 
Hello, Fernando Mendes for Eagle International again. Hello. See, so, well, the, both of you are quite young, so there's a long career be, uh, ahead of you. But uh, if you were not musicians, what other thing would you like to do? Where do you picture yourselves if you weren't doing what you're doing right now? It's quite a difficult question, really. Um, I, mean, I think I'd definitely be following in like my family's footsteps, like I was working on the NHS. Uh, my parents both do. Um, and I was for about six months or so before I really focused all my time on music. Um, so yeah, I think I'd, I'd definitely be working in the NHS, I'd be doing something medical. I think in terms of, uh, I, I was working in a high school, um, I was working at a high school I used to go to, and it was literally just a, a job to get by, you know, I've, I've always visioned myself as a musician and having that career, so I, did, I, I knew that I, my passion wasn't in that job, so for me to be doing this now is a dream come true. Thank you. Another one? Okay, I'd like to finish with a sort of a bigger question now. What do you think Eurovision, both of you, what do you think Eurovision means to Europe? I think it's, it's a celebration. It's a massive celebration of music and, you know, everyone coming together. I mean, that's the theme this year. I think it's, I think Eurovision, the reason it's been going on for so long is because it's such an amazing competition. So for us to be a part of it, it's a very surreal thing. It's a very proud, a very proud thing for both of us to be representing the UK in a competition as big as this. And it is, as Joe's just said, it's, it's a massive celebration and a fantas fantastic competition. Great. Well, thank you so much, audience, and thank you, Joan Jake, you. and your colleagues. Thank and you so much. And to Furwall, and best of luck. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you very much.